okay hi guys uh, welcome to the second lecture of module 1 uh, in lecture 1 we discussed about two equation first equation was dtft equation which was something like this x of e power j omega in short we call it as x of omega which is equal to what summation n varying from minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j omega n right we call it as equation 1 right so, and what we did was we sampled this uh, frequency domain uh, into n equidistant samples right in the sense omega is equal to so 2 pi y 2 pi because this x of omega is uh, a periodic signal with fundamental period 2 pi right and so thereby so how many samples we took n okay but we want uh, some variable to to access the index right so for that we have what we did was we have put one k variable there so where k is an integer which is varying from 0 to n minus 1 right so if i substitute omega by 2 pi by n in the above equation what do we get x of 2 pi by n into k is equal to summation n varying from minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k into n right and where k is varying from 0 to n minus 1 so this was equation number 2 so what do we do here is so we have an infinite length discrete time sequence right so summation n varying from minus infinity to infinity x of n so let me convince you graphically say this is n and this is x of n and this x of n samples is varying from where to where it is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity right let me write the samples okay so dot 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 goes to plus infinity dot 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 goes to minus infinity so what we do here is we are going to split this uh, x of n which is varying from minus infinity to infinity to infinite number of summation where each sum contains n samples okay so for example say this is 0 if uh, the samples start from here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 dot 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 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and goes on and I'm going to uh, split this infinite length x of n to infinite number of summation where each summation contains n samples okay so n samples so for example if I put n is equal to 4 so this is one summation 1 2 3 4 right this is one summation and next is this is another four samples 1 2 3 4 another summation and again 1 2 3 4 this is another sum four summation four samples the summation and this goes on so x of n where n is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity I am going to split it into infinite summations where each summation where each summation contains n samples so to convince you I have taken n is equal to 4 but n can be anything fine now this is how we represent graphically but if I want to put it mathematically how do we do that so I am taking this equation right fine so x of 2 pi by n into k is equal to so how do I represent uh, this summation so plus summation n varying from where does it started 0 and where did it ended 3 so but how do I put it in terms of capital N it is n minus 1 because 4 minus 1 is 3 right 4 minus 1 is 3 so totally this has 4 samples right so 0 1 2 3 so 4 minus 1 is 3 so 0 1 2 3 and what is the left out term x of n into e power minus j 2 pi pi n into k n ok so plus how do I represent this next 4 samples in terms of n so summation n where did it ended n minus 1 so here right so where did where this summation starts it is n right so n 2 where it where it has to end 2 n minus 1 it has to end at 7 so n is what 4 4 2 is 8 minus 1 is 7 so it should end at 7 right so x of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n plus and this goes on 
2 into 3n minus 1, 3 into 4n minus 1, and so on. So, what about the, in the negative samples? So, summation n varying from so where from where okay so where it ended it ended at minus one right so it ended at minus one where did it started so it started at minus four so n is four so I have to write minus n so x of n e power minus j two pi by n into k okay so this is how we put it mathematically right let me write that uh, equation once again so x of 2 pi by n into k is equal to so it is summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n k n plus next summation is summation n varying from n to 2 n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n plus it goes on In the negative side summation n varying from minus n to minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n plus dot 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 so it till goes to uh, minus infinity ok so I can write this equation in compact form as so equation above equation above equation can be written in compact form compact form as as so x of 2 pi by n into k is equal to so summation what I'll do is I'll take one more variable I'll call it as L is equal to minus infinity to infinity okay why minus infinity to infinity because how many summations are there infinite number of summations are there so it is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity so one more summation so summation n varying from ln to ln plus n minus 1 I will tell you what's happening here so x of n into e power minus j 2 pi by n into kn ok so this equation in a compact form I have written like this how did I write like this so if I put L equal to 0 assume that L equal to 0 what happens to this summation n varying from 0 because L equal to 0 to n minus 1 0 to n minus 1 this term is 0 this term is 0 right so so I end up with this first summation I mean summation of first four samples right when I put L equal to 1 what happens here n is equal to since L equal to 1 n to where it ends this is 1 so 1 into n is n n plus n is 2 n minus 1 so this becomes n to 2 n minus 1 right so this which ends up with this second summation part similarly if I put negative values for L if I put L equal to minus 1 what happens so this is minus n so minus 1 2 so what happens to this so minus n plus n 0 ends up with minus 1 which is minus 1 ok so this equation in a compact form I can write like this so I will call this as equation 3 now what I will do so I will interchange the interchange the index uh, changing sorry I will change I will change the index in the inner summation so I am going to touch only the inner summation for, uh, in the sense instead of n I will write it as n minus ln ok so I am changing n to n minus ln if this is the case what is ln ln becomes 0 right because minus ln this side goes to this side plus ln and plus n goes this side minus n so n minus n becomes 0 so ln is equal to 0 so in the inner summation so wherever n is there I am going to replace it by n minus ln so from this equation what become what is the ln ln is 0 right let me plug those uh, results here what happens x of 2 pi by n into k is equal to summation I am not touching the outer summation L varying from minus infinity to infinity so summation now so n 
is equal to what is ln? ln is 0, right? So 0, 2, again what is ln? ln is 0. So left term is n minus 1. x of, so what is n? So n has to be replaced by n minus ln into e power minus j 2 pi by n into k into uh, what is n? n is instead of n I have to replace n minus ln but what is ln? ln is 0. So it is just nothing but n k into n. Okay. Now, so I'll, I'll since it is uh, multiplication, I can just interchange the order of the summation, right? So I'll write this summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 first. Next, I'll write summation l varying from minus infinity to infinity x of n minus ln e power minus j 2 pi by n into kn. Okay, now this term summation l varying from minus infinity to infinity x of n minus ln it is nothing but a periodic signal with fundamental period capital N so I can write it as xp of n ok so how is this periodic signal so because let me just convince you here so summation l varying from minus infinity to infinity x of n minus ln right now when I when I put l equal to 0 what happens l equal to 0 summation uh, when I put L equal to 0 it is x of n right plus when I put L equal to 1 x of n minus when I put L equal to 1 n right so this is nothing but what x of n shifted right n times right plus x of when I put L equal to 2 so x n minus 2n now what happens x of n shifted right minus 2n times similarly if I give negative values for L x of n plus n so this is x of n shifted left n times similarly x of n plus 2n x of n shifted left 2n times plus dot 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 so plus dot 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 right so each and every time the signal x of n is shifted right one time two uh, n time two n time three n time dot 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 this goes to infin infinity again it is shifted left capital n time capital 2n times capital 3n times dot 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 and this goes to minus infinity basically it's a periodic signal okay uh, in the sense let me just put it in graphical method for example so this pattern of periodic signal this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 okay so it's a periodic signal right so this pattern is repeating right this pattern is repeating so this is this pattern is shifted right one time sorry three time because fundamental period is three again this sample is shifted right six times because two into three is six and similarly this is shifted left n time left shifted two n times three n times here n is three okay so therefore i can write this this term as xp of n let me put it in the next equation so I can write it as x of 2 pi by n into k is equal to summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 x p of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n. So we have to call this equation as 4. We will call it as 4. Okay, digest up till, till here. Uh, we still have to derive it. We'll do it in the next lecture.